what could very much be the best smartphone of 2021 is coming and you can also experience samsung on your iphone let's dive in the galaxy s20 fe last year was considered one of the best phones overall in 2020 because it had flagship specs for a great starting price at just 700 dollars so this year many people are actually looking forward to the galaxy s21 fe and samsung has kept their promise a few hours ago we saw some renders for the galaxy s21 fe via on leaks and we see that it has a similar display with its predecessor just with a lighter bezel but the main difference here is in the design the S21 FE has a back design similar to the Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus but with a uniform coloration instead of the different color from the camera module and the back. And also if we look closely, we we'll actually see that the camera module doesn't blend in from the metal rails. Instead, it just comes off like from the plastic back, similar to what we have on the Galaxy A52 and A72. Anyways, it will have a 64 megapixel main camera, an ultra wide, and a 3x telephoto lens with up to 30x digital zoom. Maybe. Then, over to the display, it will be a 6.4 inch Full HD plus 120Hz Infinite O AMOLED display. And of course, <clears throat> it's a Super AMOLED display. Um, the device should be released around August, but until then, I've got you covered on all the leaks and news before the launch event, so do some, consider subscribing. Also, in the month of August, that is around the time that we're going to see the Galaxy Z Fold 3 because there's not going to be a Note 21 series this year. And since the Z Fold 3 has the S Pen implemented in it, I think it's a good substitution just for this year. But the main thing is that we actually have news that Samsung has actually worked on the under display camera both for the outer display and the inner display of the Z Fold 3 and this is just going to be great. They are using an ultra thin glass to make sure that the display is durable. So all in all this year's Z Fold 3 will actually be like the best of the best to so have the S Pen implemented probably and I hope that it has 120Hz on the outer and inner display have better camera systems of course, under display camera, a better chipset, wow, and I'll keep you covered on that. And last but not least, yes, iPhone users can now experience Samsung's UI. Samsung launched a new program that allows iOS users to know more about what it's like using Samsung's very own One UI. Simply visit itest.nz i'll leave a link in the description follow the steps and yeah you will actually have that one ui experience on your ios now samsung is doing this to try and draw more ios users to their own ecosystem by trying to give them an insight of what it would be if they had samsung device well that's all for me from this video tell me what you think about everything i've said in this video down in the comment section Subscribe for frequent tech videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.